So let's talk about the DNG gear, standing for the Deep Knight Goggles. This gear is highly underrated. However, with more ghosts coming into the game, bringing more attention on the usability for them, this gear might slowly go away, which is why we need to talk about this gear's performance level on the battlefield, but first a quick sponsor for today's video raid shadow led no the only reason this video idea came to mind was from a random lobby inside of stn meeting a dude who shared a lot of knowledge on the game specifically in the gear and perk combo section as i was the slasher on a blood moon i noticed this random person was faster than me as the survivor that's uh, that's not supposed to be happening game huh i ended up asking him what he was using and he mentioned his combo which was the high lumen ball perk and the deep night goggles so therefore the combo that this guy was using made him faster than me and i was the slasher on a blood moon i don't understand speed portions right now in blood moon are pretty messy today's video is going to be all about speed and what perks work with a deep night goggles gear to make you faster than a blood moon slasher so before we do get into the test for this video to show you guys the combos that actually make you way faster than a blood moon slasher let's talk about all of the perks that work with the deep night goggles to make you faster than a blood moon slasher there are are a lot of perks here. <laughs> I made a Google Doc and I included all of the perks that give you a speed bonus. Not all of these perks are just mainly focused on speed, but they do give you some type of speed proportion. However, the significantly increased speed and the massively increased speed, those three perks right there are pretty much focused on speed themselves. But all of these other perks here that have the increased speed title are all with speed somehow, but they're not mainly focused on it because we even have merch Ayla and event perks that work with a deep night goggles to make you slasher than the blood moon to make you faster than a blood moon slasher so for increased speed we have all of the perks here we have all the merch perks the Ayla perks and the event perks listed right here but of course that is not the speed cap in the game because we do have three other perks listed below that have speed on the perk that makes you faster than what the increased speed does for these other perks so with that out of the way guys let's go ahead and go with the four tests that we're going to be doing today to prove to you guys how these combos can make you faster than a blood moon slasher we need to keep a tally on how many times i've said blood moon slasher because it's ridiculous let's go ahead and do the first one which is just using the deep night goggles by itself just the gear no perk and see if that is faster than a blood moon slasher Next, let's go ahead and do the deep night goggles with one of these increased speed perks and show you guys how that is faster than a blood moon slasher. Next, let's do a test using the stim perk because the only way for it to give you a speed boost is if you use your lamp, which absorbs some of your health to go ahead and grant you the speed boost. The next test, we're going to be using the Sacrificial Speed perk, and for this test, we luckily were able to do it with just four people because the way the Sacrificial Speed perk works is that every time a player dies, it will increase your speed, and therefore, with four people, we didn't know whether or not if one person dies, it would go ahead and increase our speed enough for us to be faster than a Blood Moon Slasher. But it turns out, inside of this test, when one person died, we were able to be faster than the Slasher. So with the Sacrificial Speed perk, we did do a test to see if we were faster than the Slasher, without anyone dying and then the next test we did using this perk was with one person dying and then that right there granted enough speed with the deep night goggles to be faster than the slasher
Now, the other two that I really want to try out are the massively increased speed perks, Adrenaline and Achilles Heel, because they do give you the speed cap inside of the game, but it's going to take some time or something could happen where you're not actually at the speed cap yet inside of the game. For example, with Achilles Heel, by giving you the max speed cap at the start, and then after every hour, it decays. We went ahead and tested this, and it turns out that every single hour in the game, even to 5 a.m., when it decays all the way with the Deep Night goggles, you are still faster than the slasher and the other example adrenaline you can be at the max speed cap until you reach the slasher's proximity and then therefore the speed starts to decay There is one perk that gives you a speed increase, but you can only have that speed increase when you use a specific gear skin. This is the looter perk, and it is a bundle perk. So you have to have the treasure map gear skin in order for it to go ahead and give you the speed bonus when you pick up relics. So the looter perk, the bundle looter perk, is the only perk that has a speed increase that wouldn't work for what we're trying to do today. And guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. That is everything that we have to discuss with all of these perks being compared and combo with the Deep Knight goggles to make you faster than the Blood Moon Slasher. If you guys have any other interesting things that you'd like for the crew to go ahead and test out inside of STN, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and show the picture once again for you guys to go ahead and screenshot if you'd like. Use any of these perks with the Deep Knight goggles gear, and if it happens to land on Blood Moon for the game mode, you will be faster than the Slasher. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is GMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.